Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's going to be Spiral, and uh, it's not Scrap Spiral, I was testing that out for a little bit, but I feel like this build just uh, is better for going second, and the Scrap build is better for going first, so let's just hop right in, and I think you should build your deck to where you can lose die, lose die rolls. Uh, you still choose to go first, though. So. Uh, three super agent. Uh, you always want to be able to activate those. And then, like, see their top card before you double helix. And then it's also an extender. And it's good against, like, trap decks because it pops back around. And it's also good against orcas because it, like, forces them to summon dinks. So that way they can protect their babble. Uh, quick fix, obviously one of drones, obviously one of one master plan, not two because uh, like I don't really know why people are playing two I tested two just because everyone else was playing two, but you really only need one, and if you draw it with souls, like that's just unfortunate that's like drawing garnet with brilliant fusion uh, one sleeper obviously one last resort and then something different is I play a spiral tough uh, like I said I wanted the deck to be able to go second and this really helps it to be able to go second and it's searchable with Rota uh, and it like shows the top card of their deck at least and then three souls uh, obvious uh, new combos a lot of new combos and it just lets you get free draws and it's even better in this build than it is the normal build because I play uh, seven hand traps so I can draw in the hand traps with it and then for the hand traps three ash uh, it's like the most basic hand trap it's like decent against everything the mirror match it's really nice because you can ash double helix but it's just decent against everything especially when a new format's made ash is just probably the best hand trap uh, one crow, uh, there's a lot of like trap decks being played on here, and like the one crow is searchable off of the XYZ. One draw, again, like there's a lot of trap decks on here, but if you go first and you open up like the regular combo, I guess what it is, uh, and you open up like where are if thou, and then you can also get those, and then going second against combo decks, it's good. And it's just another hand trap. Uh, and then two ogre. Uh, this card's even decent against like the trap decks, and then obviously like it's good against the combo decks. Uh, against Luna, you or ogre. Well, ogre their uh, blocker effect when they discard Zephyros. Mirror match, you hit the double helix, and then against like Guru, you hit Hidden City, and then Altergeist, you hit Protocol or Spoofing. So it's just uh, it's a pretty good card. Foolish. Uh, send an extender, uh, like quick fix or master plan if you need an engrave. Uh, like foolish is better if you're playing jet synchron, but again, like get to play the scraps for that, or you should be playing the scraps if you're playing that. Two foolish goods. Uh, I wanted like more monster reborns, and two goods, one monster reborn, and two big red, and then three rescue if you have something to discard with it. Uh, and it's once per turn, uh, it doesn't really matter that it's once per turn, like, you still could play three, but I didn't want to play three of this, like, it's there as, like, another extender if you need it. Reborn, uh, obviously just a good card, especially going second, because you can take something of theirs and force stuff. One for one, bring out quick fix or drones. Extravagance. Uh, shout out to Darkman Alt, uh, Herman Hansen, uh, because this, this card's broken, like, it, like, if you think about it, what you need in your extra deck, like, you don't actually need a lot, like, you only need Double Helix, Blocker, and Appalooza, uh, I know he's playing Dweller in his build, uh, I don't like Dweller this early in the format, just because there's a lot of decks that aren't using their Grave. Most aren't. And then, uh, like, the only thing, like, it can actually hit is, like, if you hit the XYZ, which 
is okay because it just allows you to get crow to hand and then like you draw two so it's better than getting crow to hand and then you could hit phoenix which is bad against back row decks unicorn which you only use going first if you open up like a really strong hand and then like you have a lot of cards that you want to discard and then link Karibo, which this card is not used so so much uh really if your hand is just awkward so extravagance is really good just says draw two better than desires uh rota add super agent or tough war arf thou uh if you open up like quick fix or drones or souls or even like dd crow or draw and lock bird you just add the other combo piece that you need to try to get you started Terraforming and Resort, obviously you play Terraforming because you're never going to draw both of these. Uh, two Big Red, Monster Reborn, that's searchable even though it's once per turn. And then like this card's insane with Souls too, just free summon and then free draw. Uh, Assault, uh, you, you definitely play this. Um, I tested with and without it, but when you play with it, like it just makes... Uh, stuff feel smoother and then like it's effect uh, draw a card when you pop something also comes up more in this build because you play three super agent tough and rota uh, one called by this was like the 40th card uh, it was between called by and uh, third foolish burial goods and I chose called by because this card's like good going first. Like it will stop whatever they have to stop. That foolish burial goods makes you use your extender on. And then going second against the mirror, like they add crow against Luna hits Martin. Like it's it's just a good card all around. And then three rescue uh, side deck. I'm not gonna go into this too much. Uh, two draw spiral Luna pendulum just like for combo. 3 nib combo, uh, 2 called by, so when you go first, you can take out hand traps. Uh, 2 dark ruler, no more, not 3, because you have so many cards against, like, like, you have droll, nib, ogre, ash against combo, and this is, uh, mainly just for pendulum. Uh, like, you side, you can side it in for the mirror but you don't necessarily need it too much like I still side it in but you don't really need three of it uh three twin uh hit back row three evenly hit back row and it's good against the Luna Light board if they're not playing Orkost and then one reboot uh like it doesn't matter what they set from deck because like you summon out super agent that pops a back row, tough that pops a back row, and sleeper that pops too. Like you can just OTK easily. And then one of the XYZ, uh, if you banish it off extravagance, it's whatever. You got your extravagance plus one instead of your XYZ plus one. Uh, and like you don't do like huge combos first turn with this build. Uh, like, that's not what you're going for. You're not going for, like, Trigate and all that. Because going second, it just makes your deck worse. Like, you'd rather have Extravagance over, like, another brick in your deck. Uh, <clears throat> three Appalooza. Because if you Extravagance Spanish 2, like, you just want the third all the time. Like, you always summon Appalooza. Uh, three Blocker, because you summon it first turn. And you let this die, and then you add it back to hand. Uh, unless if people like start playing Cosmic, that's just the play you do. So that way you can keep it safe. And then Phoenix, uh, it's good going second against back row decks. Unicorn, uh, good going second against back row decks again. But then also when going first, if you need a lot of discards, you can just discard these guys. And then put back your own resort and stuff. Uh, two link Karibo. It's for when your hands are weird. And you need to make link Karibo obviously. Uh, three double helix. You, like, if you banish two off extravagance whatever. Uh, you're never going to banish three off of one extravagance. So then like you just keep playing. It's like alter ghost. Uh, that's it for the deck profile. I think this build is really cool because like it plays hand traps. The scrap build is good too, but 
mainly for just going first. If you play the scrap build, uh, I didn't like extravagance in that build at all, really. But that build lets you get a lot of free stuff, and if you have any extender with scrap recycler, you just do full combo, like, really easy. That's it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder signing off.